Hi friend, welcome to Zio Entire. This is again time to share one more video with you. So today I am going to share a video which is based on the bauxite. Bauxite, it is a rock which is a residual rock. What is the exact mineralogy and uh, composition of the bauxite? In this video, the mode of occurrence and classification of bauxite, how the bauxite is originated or how the distribution of bauxite in India as well as in the world and the last part that is the uses of the bauxite. What are the different uses of the bauxite? This aspect I am going to share uh, in this video. So bauxite is a residual rock. So in which the aggregate content of the oxides and hydroxide minerals of aluminium, iron and titanium is greater than 50%. And aluminium minerals are more abundant than the mineral of two other elements together. So this is nothing but the bauxite. So when we see Al2O3, H2O, this is called a bohemite or it is also called as a diaspore. Al2O3, 2H2O, that is the theoretical bauxite. Al2O3, 3H2O, that is the gibbsite. Al2O3, NH2O that is the number of H2O that is the called as clayachite. So these are the different so mode of occurrence and classification of bauxite. So bauxite occurs in three forms. So one is the pisolytic or olytic form, second one is the spongy ore, and third one is the amorphous or it is also called as clay ore. In pisolytic bauxite or pisolytic or olytic bauxite, in which kernels or grains as much as a centimeter in a diameter and consists principally of amorphous trihydrite. So this is nothing but the physiolytic bauxite. Then second type that the spongy ore uh, which is porous and commonly retains the texture of the source rock it composed mainly of gibbsite. Then third that is the form that is the amorphous or it is also called as clay ore. So these are the three different forms which are present in the bauxite. So based on their bauxite, based on their shapes, bauxite deposits are divided into uh, four types. One is the blanket deposits, second the beds of bauxite, third one is the pockets of bauxite and fourth one is the detrital bauxite. So these are the, uh, what we can say that based on their shapes, deposits are again divided into uh, four types. So based on mode of origin, bauxite deposits are divided into two categories. So one is the laterite bauxite and second is the terra rosa bauxite. In laterite bauxite, it is formed by in situ weathering of aluminium rich rocks. Whereas terra rosa bauxite, this bauxite underlain and overlain by terra rosa or a type of calcareous conquer. So this is nothing but the um, based on the mode of origin, bauxites are uh, divided into two categories. So now we will see how bauxites are originated? So bauxite deposits are originated by residual concentration process. This process is very very important. They need favorable conditions for their formation. Residual concentration means if suppose this is a, a rock body or rock formation and in that particular rock formation there are some economic deposits for example aluminium is there which is present in the particular rock, parent rock. So weathering is taken place, the unwanted material removed from that um, their own place and at the constant position the deposit become fixed and that is nothing but the residual deposits. So the formation of bauxite requires some conditions. So first condition the rocks which are high in aluminium minerals and susceptible to yielding bauxite under stable weathering conditions. So this is the first condition. Second condition is that humid tropical or subtropical climate is essential. So this is the second condition which is essential for the bauxite formation. Third condition that is the availability of reagents including abundant precipitation to, be <coughs> to bring about breakdown of the silicates and solution of silica at specific uh, 
pH and EH conditions. So this is third condition. Fourth one is the surface that permits slow downward uh, infiltration of meteoric water. Then fifth condition is that subsurface conditions that allow the removal of uh, dissolved water products, dissolved waste products. Then sixth condition, it is also very very important that is the long time tectonic stability. If stability is not present, stability is not there, then there is can formation, there is not uh, form any bauxite. Seventh condition is the preservation which is uh, one of the characteristic feature of this bauxite deposit and coastline favors than inland conditions. So uh, when we see the global uh, bauxite deposits, so we can find out coastlines are more favorable than the inland conditions. So these are the eight conditions which are responsible for the bauxite deposits in any area in any country. So this is regarding the uh, conditions. So now geographical distribution in India. When we see the India, Kodurite bauxite, so this is present in Andhra Pradesh, Orissa, East Coast bauxite, then second type that is the lateritic bauxite which is present in MP, Bihar, on dolerite source rock, then third type that is the Terra Rosa bauxite that is found in Jammu and Kashmir and Gujarat. So these are the uh, th three types of bauxite found in the India. When we see the world, so uh, world distribution of bauxite that is Australia, Zinnia, Brazil and Jamaica. So these are the four countries which having uh, more on this bauxite deposit. Now we will see what are the different uses of the bauxite. So bauxites having different uses for the metallurgical grade, metallurgical purpose, chemical grade or chemical purpose refractive grade or refractive purpose and abrasive grade. So these are the four basic uses of bauxite. So in metallurgical grade Al2O3 is equal to 58% minimum concentration is essential Fe2O3 is less than 5%. So this is the conditions. So these are the parameters which are uh, useful for metallurgical grade bauxite. The second type that is the chemical grade in which Al2O3 is 58% and Fe2O3 that is the less than 3%, P2O5 is less than 0.2% and V2O5 so that is the less than 0.2%. So these are the uh, uh, what we can say that these are the uh, requirements for the chemical grade bauxite. Refractive purpose the Al2O3 must be 59%, SiO2 and FeO2 3, SiO2 and Fe2O3 is less than 3%. So this is uh, this type of bauxite is used for the refractive purpose. And last one is the abrasive grade. Abrasive grade bauxite having Al2O3 that is near about 55%, SiO2 and Fe2O3 each having 5%. So this is regarding the uh, different types of uses of bauxite. So in this video, I have explained what are the different mineralogy and composition of bauxite, how the classification and mode of occurrence of bauxite, origin of bauxite, uh, how the global distribution or Indian distribution of bauxite and what are the different uses of the bauxite that entire aspect I have included in this video. If you like this, share and subscribe my YouTube channel that is you and I about there.